Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Awakening in which we are finally ready to start uh, one of our quests and I read up on the different quests we have um, these are basically our side quests and I want to start with something from the main plot so I will keep this for later and basically every one of these quests lead us to the city of Amaranthine first that's where we have to begin each of them so I suppose we just uh, go to Amaranthi and then we decide uh, what to do there. F um, but before that, I want to have a quick chat to the private because she still has an exclamation mark above her. Seneschal so Vero is ready for you in the throne room, Commander. Your vassals await. Um, all right. Are there any messages for me? Just give me a moment. All right, nothing. New quest, Oath of Fealty. Oh. And another quest, but this is another side quest, so I will leave this for later. Um, yeah, this is another side quest. And I'm pretty sure I have discovered and cleaned out everything that is around here. So, um, I'd say we just go for Amaranthine and everything else in here can wait. For example, hang on a second. Oh, these are two different... Glavonex, Voldrick and Dworkin. Yeah, maybe let's talk to Dworkin just quickly. I emptied out my stores blasting those darkspawn. Once we're done with repairs, we should talk. Alright, so he doesn't have actually have anything interesting to say. Samuel! Groundskeeper Samuel! Is that you? Who? Make his <laughs> breath. If it isn't little Nate. I'd know that face anywhere. Groundskeeper, I am overjoyed that you stayed on. Please, do you know how my brother died? And my sister? I was in the free marches. Your brother died in the war. But Lady Delilah... Don't you know? She isn't dead, huh. son. Not that I know of. Last I heard, she married a storekeep in Amaranthine. Don't know which one. Poor girl. Did you hear that? My sister is alive. Hmm. Yeah, why did, did you think she was dead? I knew about my mother and heard my brother might be dead. I, I suppose I just assumed that Delilah was dead too. Could we ask around the shops next time we're in Amaranthine? Well, uh, good luck for you because we're just heading out for Amaranthine. So yeah, we could take a look. Thank you. I would be interested to know just what happened to her. New quest, the Howe family. Alright. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened to the rest of his family. But since you're here, you can uh, put your new skills to good use and open this for me. Thanks. <laughs> because I certainly didn't kill them. Um, I just killed Al Howe and uh, every soldier in his castle, <laughs> but <laughs> not the rest of his family. Oh, look at that, a kitten. <laughs> Take the cat with you. Um, are you hungry? Uh, yes. Yeah. Sure, let's take the cat. Items received. Do I have the cat in my inventory now? <laughs> I do have a cat. It's a gift. Oh, how adorable! An adorable tabby kitten. Yeah, I need to. I need to find out um, oh. who gets. <laughs> You're not so enthusiastic, Nathaniel. Your wish is my command. Yes, that, that's better. Um. But yeah, I, I really need to leave uh, this place now because um, I want to do something for the main story. So, where can I exit? Okay, this is, this is the exit. Um, yeah. Alright. Turnoble Estate, yeah, this is one of the side quests. Fallon Cove as well. 
city of Amaranthine. Yeah, that's where we're going to go first. New codex support city of Amaranthine. Alright, look at that. And already stuff to loot. Now's better than later. Discard a journal. A gift. In this old journal, an elf who lived in Amaranthine writes about the hardships of daily life and the unrealized hopes of his people. <laughs> okay. Actually, um, before reading my code, uh, before reading uh, the quest, I also read up on my codex entries. Um, apparently, I got some new ones already. Uh, for example, there is a codex about Nathaniel. Where was it? Of course, now I can't find it anymore. Oh, here it is. And, right, Nathaniel is a sensible fellow who values practical gifts over user trinkets. So this is, this is a starting point to know what gifts to give to him. Um, yeah, I suppose we... Homer's toys. We just look around oh, a bit. It's the warden commander. The rumors about you did not overstate it. I have a business proposal. Look for me by the house near the gates. I promise it will be worthwhile. Uh, shady character, huh? <laughs> yeah, I will. I will deal with that later. Um, let's have a can look I get at you this. A ladder so you can get off my back. Bell collar. This is a collar for a small animal. A bell is attached. Uh, presumably for my kitten, <laughs> but uh, until I find someone to give the kitten to, uh, this doesn't really help. Right, we're in a city. Where's the tavern? <laughs> we're going to look up the tavern for your Ogren. I promise. Colbert. Um. Okay, which quest was Colbert? Last of the Legion. Talk to Corbett about his discovery. Okay, let's do this. Looking for some company, honey pie. I'm always available for riveting <laughs> conversations with fine women. Hang on a second. Do I look like a woman to you that is interested in your company? <laughs> Especially considering that I'm actually wearing the creepy helmet. I mean, seriously. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'll rivet you to the floor if you call me that again. I like a woman who's all business. <laughs> um, I'm here to talk about Darkspawn. Oh, you're one of those Grey Wardens. You find some Darkspawn, and sure enough, the Grey Wardens come knocking. Oh. I can't take all the credit for finding the rift, you know. Mika here fell in first. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, keep talking. Well, it's quite a ways out of town. We were tracking a buck off in that direction, you see, before this darkspawn mess. We'd been on his tail for about a week at that point. I'd wager he thought it was great fun leading us on a merry chase as he did. And the chasm? Oh, the chasm, yes. Uh, we saw it coming over our rise. It was really something to behold. A huge cleft, as though the maker himself had cracked the earth in two, like... Like an egg. <laughs> I like eggs. <laughs> it looked like someone had tried to build over it, but it must have been abandoned a long time ago. No one in town knew about it. Um, who tried to build over it? Well, people, I suppose. Maybe even the Darkspawn. Well, of course, we had to investigate. That was when Mika fell in. A shriek like you wouldn't believe, and he <laughs> was gone. Earth crumbled, not stable. Right. And as Mika lay there yelling about his knee or his head or what have you, <laughs> the dark spawn appeared. All right, what happened then? They seemed occupied, like they had some place really important they had to be. Didn't notice us at all, think the maker. The dark spawn was so occupied as to overlook two screaming injured men. <laughs> Boggles the mind. I marked the chasm on my map so we could avoid it, but sounds like you want to know where it is, so here you go. So, we getting anything for our trouble? Mm. Hm. All right, here's a sovereign. A whole sovereign. 
If there's ever a reason to fall into a darkspawn pit, here it is. Maker bless you. All right. Um... Maker watch over you, as they say. Bugs out in the forest are as big as your head. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for that information. Uh... Why won't you let us in? The dark spawn are coming. It's the constable's orders. There's no place for you in the city. Well, they don't look infected. And he has children. Look, we let some in, we'll have the rest scratching at our eyes. No exceptions. Make a spit on you, you heartless bastard. Where are the refugees coming from? I hate waiting, not knowing what will happen. We need supplies. My children are <laughs> hungry. All right, Constable Aiden, this... Uh, excuse me, but person. I need to search your packs for smuggled goods. Um, I am the Warden Commander of Vigil's Keep. But I have to. Constable's orders. We've been having trouble with smugglers and... What are you doing, man? And what is the are Queen, Are you accusing the, the Commander of the Grey of smuggling? <laughs> but I... I... You said everyone... You are dismissed. <laughs> I apologize. Smugglers and thieves have all but taken over the city. Um, yeah, is there anything I can do? We could certainly use your help in this. Come speak to me later if you're interested. Uh, why not speak now? <laughs> because I'm here, so we could just talk about it. Um, all right, I guess I, I'm talking to him again. Ah, Warden Commander. I take it you've decided to help us. Um, uh, what exactly is happening here? With trade slowed to a crawl, smugglers have moved in, selling stolen goods at exorbitant prices. If we could shut down their operation and seize their supplies, we could distribute it to the needy. Uh, how do I find the smugglers? There is a smuggler doing business in the market. He probably knows where the hideout is. We haven't been able to get anything from him, but maybe you can. New quest, Law and Order. <laughs> All right. Oh, I see. Now I can pick up some side quests for for this place as well. Anyway, I updated this main plot, Last of the Legion. Root out the Darkspawn threat in the Knotwood Hills. Culbert and Micah told you they encountered Darkspawn near the chasm in the Knotwood Hills. Find the chasm that is covered and eradicate the beasts. Um, yeah, sure, but since I'm here, I may as well continue to explore this place and there were some other uh, leads that I have to follow up for the other quests so I'm going to do that as well um, suspicious character <laughs> okay let's talk to the suspicious character greetings could I interest you in uh, wait a minute my lad said they saw you talk into the you learn not to stick your nose where it don't belong. I see enemies. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't understand what just happened here, but um, I guess I have to kill some hired goons now. And this looks like a mage. Um, okay, I will use a war cry on these guys, and then I will take care of the mage. I'll get on it. Yep. And he's stunned. And he tries to heal himself. I don't like that. And uh, let's finish you off. And there you go. Very nice. So, what exactly happened just here? One sovereign. All right, all right. That's a lot of loot for such a low level car character and another sovereign. Huh. Alright, um. Sure, let's talk to the weaponsmith. Oh, okay, I can just buy stuff from him. Um. Alright. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to buy the manuals. I'm going to need them sooner or later anyway. 
Uh, and I still have some money. And I will buy all the gifts again. Pure iron. Iron physically extracted from ore. And more heraldry. Um, uh, sure, let's take the iron as well. I'm not sure why I would need it, but <laughs> it's there and it's cheap. Ooh. Plus two to all attributes. One health regeneration combat. Um, yes, please, I take this. <laughs> and, alright, these are some ingredients for uh, herbalism. And I don't think I have any of those, so at least take some distillation agent and some concentrator agent. Um, yeah. And I need more flasks as well, otherwise I won't be able to craft anything. Hmm. Um, yeah, I think that's enough for now. Specialization unlock, Legionnaire Scout, alright. And give me, give me, give me that. <laughs> I mean, this is Warden's Oh, This is the one that I got at the very beginning of Origins. But um, I never really found that many great, great um, amulets. But this one, this one is great. Also, Anders can level up. Uh, let's see, some willpower, some magic and some constitution. Yeah, I will leave the specializations for now. And I'm going to give you more clarity. And now the difficult curse of mortality. Oh yeah, I I I know this I know this uh, spell because enemies like to inflict it on my se uh, self. Um, I guess this is interesting when fighting against mages who actually heal. Um, but I really like anti-magic wards, so I'm going to take this first. All right. Um, Let's continue. Why can't the darkspawn just die? Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> and oh, another shop. Mm, manual spirit warrior. Huh. Actually, let me sell some stuff that I do not need anymore. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a crossbow user this time. I think I will stick with the bow, so let's sell this as well. And I suppose I do not need those swords. I mean, I can... I, c I could uh, save one of them. In case I get another weapon and shield companion. So which of these I would like to sell? Topsiders Honor or the Keening Blade? Um, I think I will sell the Topsiders Honor because the Topsiders Honor is very specific against undead. So let's sell this. Um... Yeah, I never really used Venom. <laughs> the kitten. I will I will keep the Storm Chaser helmet and everything else for now. Uh, let's have a look at this again. Uh, take the manual. Alright, this would be something for my mage. Well, Anders doesn't have anything on his head, so let's see. The Libertarian Scowl. Now, this is something that Anders would enjoy. I mean, the Libertarians were one of the uh, factions in the Circle Tower, and they were the ones that were for more mage rights, right? 
So I'm totally taking this for you. Also, I really like um, the mana regeneration, so take this. Alright, I think that is enough shopping for now. Uh, let's continue and let's see what this guy wants. Um, speak to Marvis in the city of Amaranthine. Merchant Karens are being attacked on the pilgrim's path between Amaranthine and Denrim. Okay, this is for this quest. Warden Commander! Thank the Maker you're finally here! I was afraid our messages never got through to you. Well, they got through. Excuse my haste, but this is rather an urgent matter. Our caravans are being attacked. The wagons are burnt to ashes, and uh, there have been no survivors. It's gotten worse lately. People from the neighboring villages have found guards torn limb from limb and left in the village square. And you suspect Darkspawn? We don't know for sure. Communication has been difficult with the attacks, but people in the area said they saw monsters lurking in the shadows. Whatever it is, it's completely crippled trade between Amaranthine and Denerim. No one wants to travel the road through the Wending Wood. Can the Grey Wardens help hmm. at all? Yep, I'll look into it if I find the time. I suppose I have to be content with that. It is better than nothing. If you can stop the killings, the Merchant's Guild will make a hefty donation to your organization. You have my promise. All right. Also, there are more hired goons over there. Investigate the Wending Wood. Follow the smuggler. The smuggler doesn't seem to want to cooperate. Hunt him down. Oh, I guess the hired goons um, belong to the smuggler. All right. Yeah, I will. I will look at the other goons. I'll get on it. Um, soon enough. And let's get rid of the shield wall. Oh! Merchant Guild Sport. Oh, more side quests. Okay. The Merchant Goods. I am in desperate search for lost Olesian silks. They left Denerim in a caravan bound for Amaranthine several weeks ago. I fear this caravan met the same fate as the others before it. If you find the silks, please deliver them to Kendrick of the Merchant's Guild. He will see to a reward. I will do that. Mafra's Monuments. I seek someone to brave the Wending Wood to locate ancient statues. <laughs> okay. Legend states that after Andraste's death, Mafra's erected statues in the Wending Wood in Penance. The statues bear, bear missing verses from the Canticle of Mafra's which the Chantry includes among the dissonant verses. <laughs> Interesting. Since study of the dissonant verses is frowned upon, this creation of this is utmost importance. Please deliver charcoal rubbings of the inscriptions to the Merchant's Guild representative named Kendrick. A reward will await. An anonymous Chantry scholar. Oh, that is interesting. I'll take this. Sir Albert's missing sword. Desperately seeking someone to travel to the village of Black Marsh. I commissioned a sword from the village's master blacksmith and asked him to hide the delivery in a crate of ordinary goods. It has not arrived and I am distraught. My grandmother's prized black pearl was set in the pommel and I cannot afford to lose such an heirloom. If you go to the village, please inquire, inquire after the sword in person. Best regards, Sir Ovid of Amaranthine. Sure. Keep out of reach of children. The Merchant's Guild received word that a lethal and even poison is being sold in Amaranthine, smuggled into Amaranthine by unsavory characters. Constable Aiden has asked that the Guild find a way to take this poison off the streets. The Merchant's Guild, of course, has nothing to do with the import of this poison and is trying our level best to cooperate with the Guard. The Guild will pay for each bottle of the Antiven poison turned into Kendrick. Please keep this wicked substance out of the hands of our children. Okay, fine. I will do this as well. Um, yeah, let's continue. I think I already see some of the poison. But uh, first of all, we need to take care of the hired goons. Uh, there's again a uh, mage. So let's use this first, and 
Um, I guess since he has a yellow name, I cannot Got it. use Pian's Ply to kill him in one shot. So let's just kill him uh, the old-fashioned way. Alright. Um, but I can kill you with one shot. Yep. <laughs> And yeah, I, I need to do something about that glyph because um, Anne has just casting it far too early on, on me. Um, let's actually have a look at this now. Mm -hmm. Ally being attacked by melee or range attack. How about we just make it melee attack? That way he will only cast it if I'm actually being at an enemy already. All right. Well, let's take this. And I see there is even more hired goons. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh god, all the side quests. Look at all those side quests. The smuggler doesn't seem to want to go over it. Hunt him down. Okay, he's still running, but um first of all, let me pick up the poison. Yay! Um. Oh, it's... Oh, so the pure iron is actually a quest item. Okay. Uh, Nate. I just call you Nate, alright? Because you Nathaniel is very long. Open those chests. Wool padding. This thick felt could be used to line a suit of armor. Okay. <laughs> ah, key required. Um, stairs to battlements. Uh, let's explore the, uh, the ground first before we go to some other area. This just leads to the world map. That's a strange place to store a pitchfork. What? <laughs> what are you talking about, Anders? Oh, I... I see, yeah, I... I tend to agree with you, Anders. <laughs> that is a pretty strange place. Um... Right, uh, let's take care of the You're goons the first. Are they starting with their party band? And now that is a weird time to do so. Anyway, yeah, let's kill these guys. Um. Yeah, the mage is over here. So let's start with those. Uh, don't run away from me. Don't run away. Yeah, stop using healing magic and all that. Alright, he's dead. Oh, um... This is your doing, Anders. Thank you for that, but it's a bit too late. <laughs> anyway, uh... Let's loot the stuff. Got it. Oh man, so much stuff happening at once. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Small call trap trap. Yeah, maybe at some point I will actually start using traps. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, uh, we were just about to speak to that Namaya person, so let's do this before we do anything else. Oi, about time you showed up. Namaya, you're still here. I keep my promises. Here, turns out you were right. The cache is here in Amaranthine. It is? You... you found it? <laughs> I did. What you do with that information is up to you. I for one am done dealing with mages. Word of advice. Don't let him sweet talk you. He's very good at that. Alright. Uh, I guess I should thank you. <laughs> Damned right you should. You get caught, Anders? I'm not helping you again. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, 
I see you have a way with the ladies, Anders, huh? <laughs> I uh, suppose that requires some explanation. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. Don't be silly. I am fluent in sarcasm. You can't <laughs> fool me. Nemea is a friend. Last time I escaped from the tower, I asked her to look into some things. That's why I was in Amaranthine. The Templars thought I'd come to take a ship, but it was to meet her. Um, you don't seem very good at eluding them. During the Blight, the Templars moved their store of phylacteries to Amaranthine for safety. My phylactery is among them, Nemea learned. So long as the Templars have that sample of my blood, they can find me. I need oh. to destroy it. Hmm. Uh, but you're a Grey Warden now. What's to stop the Chantry from deciding mages in the Grey Wardens are apostates too? I want to be sure they can't ever find me again. Ever. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I do have a policy, and that's that I always had about my friends and companions, so, um, sure. You, they shouldn't be allowed to control I you. I know we're busy killing Darkspawn and all, but the sooner we find this vial, the better I'll feel. Point the way, fearless leader. Yep. Quest updated. And I have another companion quest for Anders. Help Anders find his phylactery. Alright, that's that's very nice. Uh, but um, before I do this and before I continue to explore the city <laughs> and follow up on those hired goons who still elude me, I will end the episode. And in the next episode I hope we can finally find out what's up with those uh, smugglers. So yeah, see you again next time.